from newstalkzb.co.nz. It's Leighton Smith. Uh, let me just ask you about um, John Banks. Does he have a future? Does ACT have any future? Well, I think they definitely can. Um, look, in the end, that's a matter for them. They're a different political party. But what I would say is this, that people can criticise uh, you know, the way that might have all worked out in terms of the donations. And um, I don't need to know all the ins and outs, and I don't, because all I need is a clear assurance that he hasn't broken the law. But I will say this, the Local Electoral Act, which is the act that governed the taking of donations for the mayoral campaign, is a very liberal and loose act. So the previous Labour government changed the act when it came to central government, chose not to do it for local government. Under the old local government rules, you can go and talk to a donor. I can say, Leighton, look, I'd love you to yeah. give to me. You can say to the donor, look, you might not want to be identified, so you could give anonymously. You can tell them how to do it. And in the end, as long as you don't absolutely know that they've given, you've complied with the law. Now, that might seem like a crazy law, but that's the way the law was constructed. And you can't hang someone for complying with the law. So how long will you support him? Oh, well, as long as he hasn't broken the law or misled me, There is a theory that you'll cut his throat after the budget's passed. Well, that's not true. That he, he will be there and enjoy my support for as long as I can rely on his word. And that's that's the test of confidence right. that any so what, I'm not going to sack someone for, for complying with okay, the law. Okay, so what's your, uh, what's your gut feel about Mr. Dotcom? Well, that's a real technical case on whether he's broken the US law. No, no, and, no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mean. I don't. I actually didn't mean that. I should have. I okay. should have been more specific. I meant he. He seems to have. No, he's obviously set out to undermine John Banks any which way he can. Yeah, well, he's obviously angry with John Banks, and um, fair enough. And he's angry with the government because we didn't approve his purchase of the property. So he's got his own motivations. He can speak for himself. You don't concern yourself with him, or no? I've never met the guy. Um, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs>